Solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul, Apostles, June 29, 2022. Reflection I have competed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith, from now on the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. These words of Street, Paul to Timothy, is a beautiful summary of the lives of these two apostles whose solemnity we celebrate, Saints Peter and Paul. The words reveal to us the depth of their calling to follow Christ, to embrace the cross. These two apostles have ran the race and have remained faithful to their mission of proclaiming Christ, Peter to the Jews and Paul to the Gentiles. The ultimate profession of the faith in Christ is their dying for him, one on the cross and the other through the sword. The witnessing of street, Peter ended with his crucifixion, but this death, similar to the Lord, is the sure foundation of our own faith. Peter proclaimed Jesus as the Messiah the Son of the Living God, though he faltered along the way, but he returned to the Lord with repentance and was given the mandate to tend the flock of Christ. Saint Paul was a persecutor of Christians, but Christ met him on the way to Damascus and revealed to him the truth of who Christ is, and he gave him a new mission. The persecutor now becomes the preacher. This celebration is indeed a time for us to reflect more deeply on our calling as Christians today. Is our faith founded upon Christ preached by the apostles? Are we ready, like the apostles, to give reason to the hope that is in us through Christ? Are we bold enough to face persecutions and trials to continue witnessing to Christ in this post-Christian era world we live in? Let us challenge ourselves to be faithful to Christ and his church founded upon the profession of faith of St. Peter and that which was preached by St. Paul. May we, at the end of our lives, say like St. Paul, I have competed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. The Holy Spirit unites us all under the fatherhood of God recreating us as members of the divine family of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit.